My name is Lou App and I'm known as the Pink Bird Artist and based in East London. I describe myself as an artist rather than going more specific like street artist or fine artist because I think my practice is quite broad. Um, you know, I'm happy working on the street as well as in the studio and I kind of have quite a diverse um, portfolio of work, so photography, sculpture, installation and murals. The pink bear comes from CBT, so I was kind of in this dark hole, that's kind of how I describe my feeling at the time, and I was kind of looking for a, a sense of light and optimism, and the pink bear was like an old memory from a photo when I was a little boy. And I was kind of painting all these trees and kind of quite lonely looking scenes and I wanted to kind of inject something happy and playful into these like landscapes and the pink bear kind of grew out of that. The narrative of the pink bear has kind of changed and got broader. I think originally the pink bear was kind of placed in these landscapes and there were kind of trees and the bear was kind of there just as this figure, quite lonely. And it was, I think also the bear was somewhat more human because you'd kind of have like aspects of arms and stuff showing it was, it hadn't fully turned into the pink bear. It was kind of like a costume or a mask. And I think it was, it was almost like a, a protection or a comfort zone whilst I was doing this CBT therapy. And I think now the bears kind of become more like a, not an alter ego, but kind of a, a figure in its own right. Kind of, it kind of explores and kind of helps me analyse my feelings. So I think the narrative's kind of developing all the time. Like some of the work, you know, takes on kind of current affairs or current issues, as well as kind of helping me kind of explore my mental health further within the works. Like the, the piece you can kind of see behind, the narrative there was, you know, the piece is kind of, I guess, quite iconic in the way it's on these black backgrounds and the flowers in the space, but it's actually about time passing by. So they're kind of more abstract, the, the narrative in some of the pieces now, rather than being a bit more literal. The process I go through, there's, I think there's two different streams. So one stream would be I kind of have an idea of something I want to say or talk about um, similar to the work behind. It was kind of I had this idea that I kind of sketched down and then it was going about creating a photo from that sketch. So I, I always work from photos that I've taken and then develop them on the canvas. Um, whereas like the other stream is kind of when I'm traveling I'm kind of capturing photos all the time and then kind of building up this library of photography and then when I'm kind of looking for an image that kind of captures a narrative or story I'm looking to tell then I'll kind of go through this archive and find something that I feel fits closely with that narrative or story and then work from that piece. The, the backgrounds can take up to like two or three months to kind of get to a point where I'm happy with. So you, so I've always got like these surfaces kind of building up so that when I've kind of got an image ready, I've got canvases to go rather than just starting on a fresh panel. Once kind of the, I'm happy with the surface or got the, you know, the image that I want to put onto it, then I'll sketch that out onto the, the panel and then basically fill in the bear. So the bear will be kind of have this bright pink underneath and then I'll kind of work into that building up with oil paint. And then the rest of the surface is done with oils. And they're kind of like, I guess, calligraphy marks that kind of build up this sense of photographic space, but it's quite abstract. So the, the backgrounds remain abstract, but have a photographic quality from a distance but the, the bear is very much kind of photographic in style. The importance of the backgrounds 
is kind of, I guess, fundamental to the pieces. And it, it's something I've been doing in my work since like I was 16 years old. So it's, it's kind of, I see it as kind of an, a process of artificial decay. And it's because the, all the surfaces are, you know, these pristine canvases when I get them. And then I kind of build up layers using colors, not necessarily it's going to be in the paintings, but quite vibrant to kind of build up these textures. Then as they kind of build up, I introduce things like wallpapers or wallpaper patterns, which again is based on my childhood. Um, so there's all these like layers within the surface before I actually start painting. And then like currently I'm actually sanding this back to create these like really flat surfaces similar to how you gesso a panel but there's actually all this texture of paint in there so it's they kind of like become like found objects or surfaces you'd find on the street but it's all done with you know high quality materials but you've got that depth there to start I think the pink bear today is still very much the pink bear it was 11 years ago. He is still a lone figure, but I think he's grown and branched out, um, similar to how I have after going through the CBT therapy. It's kind of other people have been introduced. There was the series I did last year during lockdown where the bear's actually with other figures. Um, so I think there's a growth in character, but is still exploring kind of the inner consciousness.